Welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2, English Story. A walk along the canal. On a breezy summer day, there's nothing better than going for a walk along a British canal. You'll pass fellow walkers, cyclists and children feeding the ducks with their families. Across England and Wales, there are over 2,000 miles of canals and rivers. Canals are man-made, whereas rivers occur naturally. Many people have holidays on the UK's canal network. They hire barges or canal boats and work their way around the country. A barge is a long, thin, flat-bottomed boat and is perfect for navigating narrow canals. Some people live in barges You'll even find them in parts of London. They are cheaper than owning a house. You can buy a second-hand barge from as little as £20,000. That's considerably less than buying a small flat. However, on top of the cost of purchasing the barge, you also must pay to moor it. This is the cost you pay to a marina or a waterway to keep your barge moored. This is usually around £500 a year, but it depends how big the barge is and where you decide to moor it. If you don't want to buy a canal boat, then go for a holiday. Holidays on the UK's canal network can vary in cost. However, you can get barges that can sleep up to 12 people so all the family can join. Luckily, on most waterways, you do not need a license to drive a barge. Normally, the company who own the barge will show you how it works. If you don't fancy sailing on the water, then stick to the paths. The best thing about a canal walk is that there aren't really any hills. You just follow the path next to the canal. Often, there will be little cafes or pubs situated next to the canal, so you can keep stopping for snacks or drinks. Usually, these places are located next to locks. A lock is a huge device that is used to lower and raise the boats and barges in the water. It has two gates. Its purpose is to help the barges move easier through stretches of water which are on different levels. It's always really fascinating when a barge arrives at a lock. You will see the lock keeper help the barge drivers open the lock. Then the water will come in or out and you'll see the barge move up or down. Once everything is safe, the barge will keep sailing onto the next lock. It's a slow process, but that's why many people enjoy sailing barges. It helps them to slow down and appreciate life. The UK's canal network also has wonderful wildlife. 
On any given day, you will see ducks, swans, herons, lots of fish, insects, foxes, and if you're lucky, you might even see water voles, stoats, or weasels. Sometimes people get a shock when they see water voles because they think they are rats. You can tell the difference by looking at their ears and their tails. Water voles have smaller ears and hairy tails. On your walk along the canal, you will often see people fishing. You are only allowed to fish on the canals if you have a fishing license. These cost anything from £20 to £50 per year. The most common fish you'll find in the canals are perch, carp and brown trout. On warm days, you'll see them just below the surface of the water. When a fisherman or woman catches a fish, they don't keep them. Normally, they will take a photograph of their catch and they might even weigh the fish. Then they release it back into the water. As well as walking along the canals and fishing, many people kayak, canoe or paddleboard along quieter stretches of the water. According to the Canal River Trust, nearly 2 million people already go canoeing in Britain and there are more people trying it every day. There are also hundreds of miles of canal paths which are cyclist friendly. But remember, if you want to cycle along the canal, you'll have to do so slowly and carefully, as there are often children and walkers sharing the same paths as you. It's especially important that you stay safe when enjoying the canal. Don't swim in the water as it can often be much colder than you think and there are reeds and other plants which might get tangled around your legs. If you're into history, you might like to visit the oldest canal in the UK it's called the Foss Dyke Navigation and dates back to Roman times. It is thought to have been built around 120 AD. The canal is 11.3 miles long and only has one lock. The newest canal in the UK is Ribble Link. It opened in 2002 and according to the Canal and River Trust, it connects the once isolated Lancaster Canal to the rest of the National Waterway Network. It's only four miles long, but has nine locks. Ribble Link is an extremely popular waterway, so if you want to sail down it with your barge, you'll need to book in advance. For a perfect day by the canal, we recommend that you take a packed lunch, plenty of drinks, some comfortable walking shoes and some sun cream. If you love wildlife, we recommend you take a pair of binoculars and a camera to capture the special animals you'll see on your walk. What would you prefer? A walk around a lake or a long stroll along a canal? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget 
to like, subscribe and share.